Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome to the final video of Disney December 2020. We've made it through the December month, and I guess more significantly, the entire year of 2020, so I want to pause for a bit and applaud everyone for making it through this incredibly difficult year. Uh, I think we've all faced some big trials, and we should all give ourselves a pat on the back. Now that that's over with, we can carry on to today's video topic, which is getting stuck on rides at Disneyland. Now when I was drafting ideas for this month, the last day really was difficult for me. I couldn't think of anything that wasn't something I'd already tried to do. So I figured instead of trying to do something elaborate, we'll just sit down and I'll tell you guys some stories about the times that I've been stuck on Disneyland rides. There's been a few, but I'm going to be highlighting a special set of three. Uh, generally these are the three that are most significant to me and my family, so I'm just going to go ahead and toss them out here for you guys to enjoy. A fair warning, I don't know how long I'll be talking about each story, this video might be shorter or longer than normal, and that also means that if I'm talking about one specific ride, and I happen to talk longer than the ride's duration, I'm just gonna start showing other random footage from Disneyland, it's not like I'm gonna make you guys watch the same ride over and over again. Uh, so with that being said, let's jump right into the first story. The first story surrounds Pinocchio's daring journey, and I think this is the first ride I've ever gotten stuck on. And there is some home video I have of us walking off. I'm not sure if I can show it. It might be revealing uh, my family members, and I don't know if they're comfortable with that. But if I can get it, then I'll be showing that right now. Uh, essentially, we were about halfway through the ride, and it just stopped working. There wasn't any quick fix for the cast members to do. So they instructed us to remain seated, and they were going to find uh, people, and they were going to walk us off of the ride. So we were, as I said, towards the middle, so we did get to walk through the remainder of the ride, which is honestly the coolest part. If you do get stuck on a ride, you do want to be towards the middle, um, because that allows you to see the most of the ride with the lights on and everything in its sort of unnatural state. It will be continuing its motions, but the lights will be on, the music will stop. It's a very weird thing to see. And you're really not supposed to see it, obviously. So they're going to try and usher you through as quickly as possible. You're not supposed to touch anything, of course. Uh, we'll get to that, though. Anyway, so we were getting walked off the ride. We came around the corner where we see the fairy peeking through the window at Geppetto and Pinocchio. We round that corner, and then there is a very, very familiar, to me at least, red chair. And that red chair is significant to me because I swear I've sat in it before. I think when we got walked off the ride, I sat down in that chair. Now I have no way of proving this because I don't think it was caught on any video, uh, but for some reason anytime I see that chair I'm like, oh yeah, I've, I've sat in that chair before. This obviously would have been something when no one was watching and I was very young so it's possible I just made up the memories like, hmm, that chair looks comfortable, I like to sit there. And then I just sort of fabricated the rest of it. But uh, I swear, I'm nearly certain I sat in that chair. Which is probably something I don't want to be admitting on the internet. But, uh, you know, don't don't ban me for life, I guess. People have done worse in Disneyland Park, right? I mean, sitting in a chair, it's not bad. Let's move on to the next story. Our next story is more recent. It was actually, I believe, two years ago at this point, uh, during the rainy season of December. The year this happened, I believe, was 2018, which means it would be the year before I started Disney December, and uh, this is a good one. So it was obviously, as I stated, it was a rainy day in Disneyland, and we had, you know, expected the rain to come, so we wanted to take shelter. We hopped into It's a Small World, which was a ride that obviously takes a very, very long time, so hopefully, you know, we would go in and it would be not rain when we came out. We hopped in, it was just us, I believe a duo behind us, and two ladies in the front. And uh, we went around on the track, you know, enjoying our break, trying to figure out what we were going to do if it was still raining. Uh, it turns out, when we come out that final turn, it was raining harder than it was when we had entered. We had entered with a light sprinkle, and now it was full-on dumping. We were not prepared for this, so we quickly scrambled and put on our ponchos, which is what they sell in Disneyland as sort of their rain preventive thing. It's like a, a coverall for your clothing. We put all that on and, uh, you know, we were going along, really plug in, and then our boat stops moving. And we're sitting there as the rain falls on us, figuring they're unloading the boat in front of us, which is cool. We look ahead and the boat is empty and we're still not moving. The other side isn't moving either. And uh, we're all wondering what's going on. So the lady in the front of us asks, what's going on? She was a little more... Uh, angry than I am recounting this story. She asks, you know, what's going on? Why aren't we moving? And they say, the ride's broken. 
we're getting dumped on by the rain, and the ride's broken. So we sit there for a couple of minutes, laughing it off, getting pelted by rain. The lady in front decides to uh, ask the cast members, nay, tell the cast members. She says, move the ride. And they say, we can't, it's broken. And we sit there, we giggle amongst ourselves as we get pelted by rain. Once again, the heaviest rain I had seen in Disneyland. And I do have a video of that. I don't know if I've shown it already. It's raining very heavily, and this lady decides to stand up to make herself exit the ride. She's just gonna, like, leap onto the ledge. The cast members say, please sit back down. You can't leave. That's not a safe exit point. And you know what this lady says? This lady says, I'm sorry, I have to stand up. I'm having back spasms. And at this point, I don't know if it was because of the awful situation we were in, but everyone in my family just burst into laughter. And that's now a great inside joke we have amongst us all that now you're on the inside of. Also, deepest apologies if that lady is somehow a subscriber or a viewer. Um, I'm sorry. I, I don't really know what else to say. Let's move on to the last story. When you think of rides you really don't want to be stuck on, there's a few that come to mind. It would be awful to get stuck upside down on California Screamin'. I couldn't imagine getting stuck right at the top of Splash Mountain. I definitely, definitely wouldn't want to be stuck 150 feet in the air on Mickey's Fun Wheel. Ladies and gentlemen, the third tale I want to tell you is of the time my mother, little sister, and I got stuck at the top of Mickey's Fun Wheel, 150 feet in the air. So, it was a normal day in California Adventure, and my little sister had been staring at the Ferris Wheel saying, I want to go on the Ferris Wheel. And we've always told her at carnivals or fairs, we don't do those rides because they're meant to be taken up and put back down very quickly. It's a little unsafe in my parents' eyes, which is fine. However, Disneyland doesn't do that. So of course, if she wanted to try a Ferris wheel, that's where it was gonna happen. Now, my family isn't a fan of heights. We figured it would be a quick on and a quick off and she could check that off her list. So we got into our little gondola and we had another family of three staying there. My older sister and my dad stayed off of the ride, which was good. Anyway, we got on and we started to go up and it was all crazy, it was wild. Now, as you go up on that ride, they actually stop it so that they can load carts behind you. So it was normal that you go up and you stop, up a little bit, stop, up a little bit, stop. That was not an odd thing. We had started uh, making our turns at full speed, so we weren't stopping anymore. And we had reached the top of the attraction, 150 feet. We could see off in all directions. And then our cart stopped. And we thought, hmm, they're unloading people already? No, they're not. The ride got stuck, and we were the top cart at the apex of the wheel. It was impossible for us to be any higher up than where we were in Disneyland property. So at first it was funny, we all started laughing about it, and then uh, we realized that we were stuck on top of a large wheel, and our cart thankfully was not a swinging one. However, the swinging carts actually have locks, so when the ride goes into a shutdown mode, it seizes up and prevents any movement on those swinging carts. Our cart didn't have a lock though, so if the wind blew or if someone went to uh, sneeze or something, they moved, our cart would very subtly move back and forth, like it was going to fall. It was the scariest thing I've ever experienced in Disneyland. My sister was shaking, my mom was shaking, I believe I was shaking as well. It was awful. And the only thing we could say was, why did we go on this Ferris wheel? And eventually, of course, they did call a mechanic and they were able to unload everyone. I don't believe we got any compensation for that. Usually they give you like a fast pass for uh, any ride. We didn't get that, I don't think. I don't think we cared at the time. We just really wanted to be off the ride. So if anyone wants me to take footage from the Ferris wheel for whatever reason, no, I'm not doing it. I'm never touching the Ferris wheel again in my life. Anyway, that's all the stories I wanted to tell you guys today. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching this video and Disney December 2020 as a whole. It was a very difficult month of videos for me to make. Uh, I feel like Disney December is really my time to shine, and I felt like with the format that I had of using old footage, I really couldn't. And uh, that was a bummer, and I'm ultimately my biggest critic, but you guys seem to enjoy the videos, and that's something I really, really appreciate. So truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. I have my fingers and toes crossed that Disney December 2021 will be made of brand new footage and videos that I planned before I go on my trip, so I actually have every single clip that I need. That is a big fingers crossed, though. Anyway, I'm gonna let you all go now, so thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about the channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me, you get my videos around. 
I'll catch y'all back here next year for Disney December 2021. Until then, as always, take care. <laughs>